Welcome to the Smithfield Cup Series Race 6. We're here at the Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course today. This cold December afternoon is sure to bring a lot of great racing at our first stop at a road course this season. Greg Biffle has the pull for this event, so let's take a look at your starting lineup. On row one is Greg Biffle and Clint Boyer. In row two is Carl Edwards and Matt Kenton. In row three is Marcus Ambrose and Chris Bush are making a start his debut today. In row four is Tony Stewart and Dale Earnhardt Jr. In row five is Jimmy Johnson and A.J. Allmendinger also making his first start today. In row six, Gary Logano and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. In row seven, Austin Dillon and Casey Kane. Row number eight, Brad Keselowski and Danica Patrick. In row nine is Trevor Bain and Martin Truex Jr. Row number 10, Jeff Gordon and Eric Amarola. In row 11, Paul Menard making his first start and Jamie McMurray is as well making his first start. In row 12, David Reagan and Ryan Newman. On row 13, Denny Hamlin and Kevin Harvick. Row 14, Justin Allgaier and Kurt Busch. On row 15 is Kyle Larson and Dave Blaney. Row 16, Michael McDowell and Ryan Vickers. And rounding up the field in row 17 is Ryan Blaney and Kyle Busch. Let's take a look at your race facts here. 12 laps, it's a two and a half mile road course, there's 35, 34 drivers, and it's the halfway point of the season. So here we go. Greg Biffle is gonna take the green flag at Mid-Ohio. He gets a good jump into turn number one. He's gonna clear Clint Boyer for the race lead. Down the longest stretch of the racetrack now. Clint Boyer clears Carl Edwards for second place, but here comes Matt Kenza, already challenging Clint Boyer for second. Biffle continues to lead as they come out of the S's. Matt Kenza is in hot pursuit, but I think it looks like Greg Biffle is gonna lead first lap of the race. And at turn one, Kenseth drives it in pretty hard, but he's not going to get there. Biffle still leads through the keyhole turn. Here we are on board with Matt Kenseth. Through the S's now. Biffle continues to lead the top four of single file. That now is Clint Boyer. Gets shoved up the track by Carl Edwards. And Edwards is going to look for uh, third place as Biffle continues to lead. And there's trouble for Marcus Ambrose and Chris Busher. Caution is out on lap three. Oh, it's, what happened here? It looks like a uh, Busher just got into Ambrose, and then Ambrose hit the pit road wall. So Busher's going to get some repairs, but it looks like Marcus Ambrose is going to be out of the race as we restart on lap five. Greg Biffle leads us back to the green. Into turn one, Carl Edwards makes it three wide. That's a pretty bold move. Into the keyhole, he'll clear Matt Kenseth for the lead. Now down the long stretch of racetrack, here comes AJ Allmendinger looking for third place. He and Clint Boyer are side by side through the S's as Edwards continues to lead. So they head into the bridge there. AJ Allmendinger looks like he's got third place coming out of this corner. It's Marcus Ambrose, I mean, not Marcus Ambrose, Carl Edwards leads lap five. Sorry about that. Matt Kenseth looks like he's in hot pursuit as AJ Allmendinger's trying to pass him on the outside. Through the S's, Carl Edwards continues to lead. Allmendinger's off course a little bit, and he goes around. Looks like he's going to get right back going. A tough break for AJ Allmendinger as Carl Edwards continues to lead. He's going to lead lap number six. Comes Matt Kenseth looking for the lead. He's going to do it as Boyer goes around as well. I think he just got tapped by Greg Biffle or something, but he's going to get back going. Tough day for all these guys. Here we are on board with Austin Dillon. He's going to try and take the lead away through yeses here. Matt Kenseth got a pretty good lead over him, though. And the rookie cast the veteran. We'll have to wait and see. As, ooh, he gets a run on lap number eight through turn one. Uh, oh, there's trouble in the S's. Paul Menard, David Reagan, and Denny Hamlin are around. Caution is out on lap number eight. Let's take a look at the replay here. It looks like uh, Reagan just got into Menard, and then Hamlin hit the back of David Reagan, and that just sent all three of them around. So here's a replay, a replay of A.J. Allmendinger's incident. You see he just got a tap from Clint Boyer, and that was enough to send him around. So he got restarted. Let's take a re look at what happened to Boyer. I think he just got tapped by Greg Biffle. But anyways, Paul Menard's going to get some repairs as we are going to restart with three laps to go. Who's going to win it here at Mid-Ohio? Matt Kenseth leads them to it. 
Through turn one, he's gonna get a good jump and clear Austin Dillon through the people. Looks like he's, oh, Austin Dillon gives Matt Kenseth the bumper. Uh, Casey Kane's gonna move into second as Austin Dillon takes the lead. Through the S's, they're side by side for second place and third on back. Looks like uh, Austin Dillon's gonna lead with two left to go as well on board with Casey Kane. And Kane pass Austin Dillon, we'll have to wait and see. Here comes Kyle Larson looking for third. He and Matt Kenseth make contact as Gordon gets him from grass. Austin Dillon continues to lead with Kane in hot pursuit. Going through the S's. Austin Dillon has the lead. Kyle Larson cleared Matt Kenseth for third place just now. And Casey Kane has Austin Dillon. Love the way to see. White flag is in the air at Mid-Ohio. Casey Kane drives it really hard into turn one. He uses the apron. Into the keyhole turn. Austin Dillon takes the lead right back. They're side by side. Here we are on board with Kyle Larson. This Brian Pickers moves into third. Where did he come from? They're side by side for the lead, and Kane goes off track. Austin Dillon to the lead, and Austin Dillon's off track now. Can Brian Vickers catch him? I don't think so. Austin Dillon is going to win at Mid-Ohio. That was a really unexpected winner. Uh, so we take a look at your finishing order. Austin Dillon took the victory. Great to have a victory in your rookie season here. As uh, see these guys toward the back had an okay day. Uh, but congratulations to Austin Dillon. He is the first rookie to win in the Smithfield Cup Series. Surprising day for him. Uh, as we take a look on back, Chris Buescher, his debut didn't go as planned. He won the nationwide race here. He didn't do very good today. Same with Marcus Ambrose. Let's hear your point standings. Matt Kenseth has the lead, and Kozlowski and Lugano are four and six points back, looking for the uh, championship lead with just two races to go until the chase. We got a lot of guys that want to be in that cutoff. As here's your chase field as of now, Joey Logano, Kevin Harvick, Martin Truex Jr., Denny Hamlin, Marcus Ambrose, and Austin Dillon. We're going to add a few more guys before this season comes to an end. So thank you for watching today's race in Mid-Ohio. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed it myself. And we will see your next race for the All-Star Race.